Peter Hart and Bill McInturf conduct the Wall Street Journal NBC News poll. They offer a unique perspective on elections and politics and are keenly aware of the public's reaction to primaries, specific policy issues, and their effects on the upcoming races. Let's suppose there were a lever on your ballot which you could vote out every single member of Congress, including your own. Would you pull that lever? In 2010, 45% said, I'll pull that lever. 2011, at the debt ceiling time, 54%. At the government shutdown time, 60% would pull that lever. 26% of the American electorate say, if I had a chance, I would vote for an independent. All of this should strike fear in your hearts. You go along day to day and would say, we can deal with this, we'll handle this, we're here. What you're looking at is a system that people are unhappy with, that people are looking for change. They're looking for a way to be able to get something done. National Journal named Hart one of its 150 national leaders who shaped federal government policy, lauding him as probably the foremost Washington pollster for the Democratic Party and its centrist candidates. I know Washington looks crazy, but there's a difference between crazy and irrational. You have to understand what is causing this to not work. When I started running congressional races for the Republican Party in the early 80s, our job was not tough in terms of targeting. You looked up and you said, okay, let's find the seats that voted for Ronald Reagan for president, but voted for a Democrat congressman. Or the Democrats said, who voted for Jimmy Carter and elected a Republican? And, and, and when we started, that was 134 seats, where there was a difference between how we vote for president and Congress. Today, that's 26 seats. We've drawn these lines to, to be essentially not competitive and so that they're either Democrat or Republican seats. And it means that, and we're going to see this over and over and over again, the institutional concern these members have is losing a primary. And if you're worried about losing a primary, there's no middle ground or compromise because primary voters don't want that. McInturf is the pollster of choice for the Republican Governors Association and his company, Public Opinion Strategies, was called the leading Republican polling company by the New York Times. Yet elections come down to one thing and one thing only. Who turns out? The Democrats in 2012 and in 2008 won that election because they got their turnout. They got their turnout with minorities, they got their turnout with women, and they got their turnout with young people. In the off election of 2010, the Republicans won because Democrats didn't turn out and Republicans turned out in large numbers. For the Democrats looking at 2014, these are the scariest numbers that you can see. The people with enthusiasm, high, high numbers, nines and tens in terms of interest in this election. Democrats are trailing by a 15 point margin. If the Democrats can't not uh, cut down that margin, obviously they're going to be at a huge uh, negative. And here's what I think the trouble for the Democrats are. Um, if you had a product rollout the way that uh, the Affordable Care Act went this fall, uh, Peter and I track reckon, you know, recall of news stories, what are you paying attention to in four years that we've done that, those questions, the highest single thing people said they paid attention to was the rollout of Obamacare. And it was overwhelmingly negative. So how much positive information would you need to hear to convince you that you've heard so much positive information that it kind of replaces the negative view you first had? And the answer is I don't think the Democrats can possibly do that between now and November. And they're kind of stuck with this sort of net negative. So the bottom line in all of this, I simply want to tell you, is you're looking at a mood and a sense of feelings about where we are and what is happening. For the Democrats, what it means is people want change. Democrats have to be able to get on top of it. For the Republicans, it means figuring out not only today, but the constituency of tomorrow. But I just want to say, does America change? Yes, and you'll be glad to know since 1999, there's two things we do a lot more of, trash TV and tattoos. So. I don't want you to worry about our long-term future, handing stuff off to our kids, the kind of America we have, because we're clearly going really well. Uh, trash TV viewing is up, and when Peter, who is, a, who is so gifted, 
when Peter asked people uh, in 1999, I said, why'd you even think to ask that? Because he asked, so you or someone in your household has a tattoo, it was 19%. Today, it is over 40% saying they live in a household with a tattoo. It's a remarkable change. And so I don't worry about America's future because I know we're all tattooed and doing great. It's a human business, legacy we want to leave behind us.